Eurozone inflation rates continue to soar with prices accelerating in September at the fastest pace in 13 years. Consumer prices jumped 3.4% on year in September, according to the EU's Eurostat Statistics Agency. The announcement is another blow for Eurozone consumers after prices rose 3% on year last month, a decade high figure. The acceleration in annual inflation rate points to further evidence of price pressures as economies recovery from the coronavirus pandemic. The reading is also likely to cause a headache for policymakers at the European Central Bank as they plot the 19-state currency bloc's recovery. The 3.4% year-on-year increase is the highest reading since September 2008 and is ahead of analyst predictions of a 3.3% jump. Prices rose predominantly due to a surge in energy prices, caused by a reversal of the oil price crash during the COVID-19 pandemic. But there was also an impact on production and shipping bottlenecks, with durable goods displaying a price hike of 2.3% from August, with natural gas prices surging and continued bottlenecks impacting sectors from car production to computer manufacturing. Inflation could hit 4% by the end of the year. Such a jump would be twice the ECB's target, before what the Frankfurt-based bank anticipates will be a quick decline in early 2022. But supply chain disruptions appear to be worsening, raising the chances that the inflation hump seeps into underlying prices and creates more permanent pressures as firms adjust to pricing and wage policy. The ECB is expected to maintain that it expects the inflation shock to quickly pass and price growth will linger under target for years to come. ECB President Christine Lagarde has struck a cautious tone this week, suggesting increased inflation risks require patience and warned against an overreaction. Market experts have argued that central bankers are underestimating the inflation risk. BNP Paribas economist Luigi Speranza said, We think there are high chances that this inflation is less transitory than all central banks, including the ECB, are suggesting. Consumers may start demanding higher wages and corporations may accommodate them, on the basis they could pass on higher cost via higher final prices, Krausten Brzezki, global head of macro at Ein Germany, said. The recent surge will do very little to bridge the gap between the two inflation camps. One arguing that inflation drivers are transitory and that base effects will disappear or even reverse next year and the other seeing a broad risk of accelerating inflation. We remain somewhere in the middle, he added. Constantly higher inflation rates and a high risk that the ECB has actually entered a period in which its longer term inflation forecasts frequently turn out to be too low compared with too high in the years prior to the pandemic will put more pressure on how much monetary accommodation the eurozone economy really needs. The ECB is expected to give more detail about its monetary policy stance at a meeting in December. Its pandemic bond buying scheme is due to end in March and experts are already predicting a lower level of purchases going into its last months. Andrew Kenningham, chief Europe economist at Capital Economics, said, even if inflation stays higher for longer, we still think the European Central Bank will stick to its dovish approach. Eurozone inflation hasn't been as high since the height of the 2008 financial crisis when the Lehman Brothers Bank had just gone bankrupt. Eurostat said prices accelerated because of a 17.4% rise in energy costs from a year ago, excluding more volatile energy, food, alcohol and tobacco prices. Core inflation rose from 1.6% to 1.9% in September. 